What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mafia 2 for the computer. Personal computer. Yes, yes, the phone. I'm getting the phone. Here's the phone. Pick up the phone. Thank you. Hello? Yeah, Vito, we got a situation here. Grab a gun and meet me at the bar. And make sure you're driving a decent set of wheels. Alright, I'll be right there. All right, so we're getting thrown. My Sunday. We're getting thrown right into it right here, right away. Uh, let's grab. Uh, stay with our suit. Suit looks pretty cool. It's nice and clean and pressed and dry clean for us. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's get going. We gotta get to the bar. We need some guns. This is the police. Open up. What? Where are the police? We just want to ask you some questions. What's going on? If you don't open the door, hey, we're going to open it up on? for you. Hey, buddy, you're interfering with an official investigation. Take a hike. So open up. <laughs> this is the police. This is your last warning. Like, why can't I pull my gun out on them? Is this the same lady from Joe's apartment cleaning the floors? So working all over town, I guess. All right, where are my cars at? Right around the corner here. I think we got a, a better car last time. I thought, right? What do we got? My car, which is all beat to shit, of course. That's nah, pretty slow. It's also slow. Yeah, no, that's a 50 mile per hour station wagon. There we go. $72 for this one. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay. Uh, we're not going to repair it. It's pretty decent shape still. Let's go. Alright, we got to get to the bar. And we got to... I don't know what we're doing. What is it? Like a train just get out? Move out of the way. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> so, thanks for stopping by, everybody. I'm glad to see you guys once again. Playing more Mafia 2 as the story unravels here. It's a fun game. I'm enjoying it a lot. The only bad thing is that my computer, like, struggles a lot. Like, it's gotten to the point where I have to, like, start my computer. I can record an episode. And if I don't record it anymore, I have to turn off my computer and start it up again another time. And then record. Because, like, my FPS drops so much between recordings. It's ridiculous. I don't even know what to do anymore. I need to get a new computer, but uh, finances are a little bit of an issue currently, as it is for like everybody all the time anyway. But um, yeah, that should hopefully rectify itself. Uh, I got a new job recently. I'm doing pretty well over there. And um, my wife, Kat, Dom, and I are supposed to be buying a new house sometime soon. We're probably gonna start looking in a few weeks maybe sometime soon we're trying to get uh, stuff together here and hopefully get out of the city city of Chicago not that there's anything wrong with it we live on the north side it's not like a bad area necessarily I mean everywhere is a bad area I guess nowadays but uh, we want to get somewhere a little bit uh, more suburban you know stuff for like getting a family together would be nice you know we got plans we got plans. We all got plans. So, uh, by the way, if you haven't already, check out Cat Dom's uh, YouTube channel. She's a fellow content creator as well as my wife. Oh my god, my arm is like freaking out. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing. I felt like uh, when my, my biceps started like pulsing, like out of control. Like, I don't know why. Am I having like a stroke or something? I don't know what's happening. On. <laughs> I felt like, uh, if anybody's seen Dodgeball with uh, Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, I felt like uh, Ben Stiller's character, uh, White Goodman, he's like having like the muscle spasm. He's like, enjoy the show! That's what it felt like. <laughs> anyway, we're here at the bar. I'm gonna park our car right here in case we got, I don't know, a getaway? Why, why we have a gun? 
in a fast car here. I'm curious, but let's find out. Is this not where I'm going? What's going on? That is where I'm going. Hey, watch it! No, you watch it. Why can I not get in that building? Isn't that where I'm supposed to be? This is like the the place. Is this it? No, oh, this is the the place. I'm supposed to go here. It's where the dot is. Hello. Oh, okay, now it works. Morning, Eddie. Hey, Vito. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Carlo. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Gorino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me in a rotten jail. That's good, because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. Ooh. So it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. He seems like a nice guy. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night. And word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Harvey Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him, Tony Balls and Frankie the mm -hmm. Mick. Yeah. Beans is Carlo's accountant. If he talks, we're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue him. Hopefully you can find him before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. Even... Even Joe? I want to tell my... <laughs> I want to tell my buddy Joe about it. Maybe he can help me. Alright, well, I mean, we got a pretty fast car. I think we got pretty good weapons. That's out of ammo. It's got some ammo in it. It's got some ammo in here. We're good. Yeah. I could do this. I still got a grenade, I think. <laughs> we're, we're fine. So, uh, let's just head over there. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to make a three-point turn here. Will you stop hitting my car? Alright, there we go. Why don't you arrest him for a hit and run? He, like, ran into my car. Damn crooked cops. Okay. So let's head over to, uh, this place. Oh, man. I, we have to, we have to tail somebody. This is, like, the kind of mission I hate doing. I actually had no idea it was going to be in this game. It's, like, back from, like, True Crime when I was playing that game. All the tailing missions in there. Uh, I mean, it's fine. I mentioned before in those videos, like, I used to do that for a living. I used to be a surveillance investigator, private investigator. And my job is basically to drive around in my car following people in their car for various amounts of the day. And just documenting where they go and getting videotaped surveillance of them. It's all very interesting. At least it sounds very interesting. It's actually very dull and boring. But it is really nice to like tell people, like, hey, you used to do this. You're like, really? That's cool, man. Did you ever like, catch a cheater? It's like, no, that's not an episode of Cheaters. It's like workers' compensation fraud. It's uh, people who are pretending to be hurt, but they're really not. So, it's a... Uh, it's, it's a large business. I'm actually, I was surprised the amount of people who are actually hurt in this area. There's always plenty of people this to investigate. This is Luca's car. It's now, nice. where are you, Luca? It's a nice car. There you are. Perfect timing. Never works okay, out in real life. Shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me. Okay, cool. Oh, he's gone. Oh, Jesus. Go, go, go. Should've found a hot rod for this mission. 
I don't know how... They don't really have a bar, do they? Like, how close do you have to be here? I'm sure I'm gonna, like, run into somebody and ruin the mission. So hopefully this will be the first and only attempt. So I hate these tailing missions so much. So we're probably gonna have to kill Luca. Which is nice, we're trying to get rid of this, uh, this family anyway. They're trying to rob us out of money. And they had us uh, rotten in jail. Because they didn't give us any good lawyers or bail or anything that's good stuff. And we found out from uh, the old guy on the inside. I keep forgetting his name. we just call him Mickey. Mickey Goldmill. <laughs> we found out from him that we're not supposed to be getting charged money to be accepted into the family. So he's doing the wrong stuff in the crime family. I remember this road. We were like doing this like two episodes ago. The same exact route. I forgot where we were going though. So, so far it's not that challenging. Again, I don't know how close I'm able to get or how far is too far, but I think we're at a good little cushion here. This is realistic. When I used to do this for a living, it's kind of like just make sure you're in. Where are you going? Okay. If you have their you're sight, the you're like in. They are in your sights. And uh, you also have to be careful, like, when you're coming up to an intersection, you have to, like, you know, speed up so you, they don't get through the light and you're stuck at the light. That happens a lot. And, um, yeah, that's always a little tricky. You gotta really know the area where you're working. You gotta use your GPS, you gotta know what's coming up. You also gotta keep in mind what's coming up, like, as far as, like, here's a shopping mall coming up. There's, uh, you know, a grocery store junkyard. nearby. Mike doesn't get involved in shit like this. Oh, no, not Mike. That's the guy we sold the car to in, like, the second episode. Um, but anyway, you try to know that stuff in case you lose them. Then you could think, okay, they're heading this way. What's over here? There's a big mall here. Let's check the parking lot. Because, I mean, it's unavoidable. You're going to lose people when you're tailing them like that. I know, it happens a lot. <laughs> what happened? Why can't I move my car? Oh, we're here. Clementi Slaughterhouse, of course. I Looks knew like it. Was right. Are we done? Okay. I gotta get in there without being seen. Are you kidding? A stealth mission? Well, I'm pretty sure there's a hole in the fence right there. Conveniently. And I'm sure there's a way through. Can I squeeze through here? No. Uh, in the water? Maybe this isn't sewer. a good way. Maybe that's the way in. Oh yeah, of course, the sewer. There's a convenient door here. Looks like I can pry this off. With my hands, of course. Push it! Yeah, we got it. <laughs> that's gross. Yes, yeah. Christ, that reeks. Uh, you know. Walk. Thank you. <laughs> We've established it smells. I don't think they make sewers as big, do they? You can just walk around in them. That's one thing, like, I always enjoyed, like, I don't, okay, don't take it the wrong way. I don't want to go into a sewer and stuff. But, like, something I enjoy... Shit, dog could be a problem. Dog? Okay. Um, what I was saying was that like, having different jobs, you get to learn, like, new things, new trades, new skills. And you get to learn about different areas of, uh, you know. Ah, fuck. That is disgusting. Ooh, a ah. magazine. Oh, if Luke could just stop by to pick up some steaks, I'm gonna kill somebody. This will make you feel better, Vito. Warning, there may be nudity, and there definitely will be. And there is. <laughs> I'm sure there's like so many of those magazines I haven't found. Anyway, uh, I think it's nice to like learn things about different aspects of the world and... Or, uh, I don't know. Like working as an investigator, you learn more about like workers' compensation and like fraud and investigations and you don't know anything about it. Then you start it and everything like that. I'm working now with a lot of uh, finances and things like that, and 
you know, learn about annuities and retirement plans and everything. It's like, I don't know any of that stuff, but now I'm learning everything. It's great to know. And, like, I've never been into a sewer. Not that I want to, but it'd be interesting to see, like, what that's like. That's why, like, that Dirty Jobs show, I used to watch that. That was a great show. Because you get to see different things you don't usually see. What, is somebody there? No. There's nobody there, see? So shut up before I turn you into meatloaf. That's disgusting. Is it mud? Shit, there they are. Now I got you, you skinny little prick. Who do I got? This guy? Oh, Luca the skinny prick. I wonder where we go now. That dog is going to be an issue. Right? Maybe we'll walk away. We still can't get in. There's barbed wire up there. Okay. Time to move. Okay. Let's explore the space. I guess we can just jump up here and... This oh. is <laughs> very linear. There's a way in right over here. Okay. Right? Can I jump up here? Or up here. Or up on this pipe. Yeah, the pipe will work. <laughs> How convenient. There's a guy asleep in there. Oh. Shh. Do not shoot, your guys will be killed. This is not fun. I think I'm going to fail this mission a couple times, so be warned. Be forewarned. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, I the boss knows what he's doing here. Of course the boss knows what Luke That's what doing. I meant, you like this. Card. I gotta get all the way over there, huh? How the hell do I do that? Well, like, there's only one way to go here. Let me attach this. Can I attach this or something? I'm gonna turn this on. Okay, it doesn't work. I'm gonna have to go over here. Having one fucking smoke. Relax. Yeah, heard that one before, pal. Yeah, pal. Okay, he's going that way. That means there's only one guy in here. That's him over there. Your torture gun. Go this way. One of them pigs must have squealed. So, uh, nah, you still thinking no about pig. quitting? It sounded like. Yeah, it's probably next month. Oh man, this is. I'm just trying to. If I don't say anything, it's because I'm trying to just concentrate. This is like the same. Becoming a voice. How are you supposed to press E while you're moving? That seems very difficult to do. Anyway, uh, we're still moving around here. I mean, we're definitely moving towards our objective here. Easy. Whew. There's a lock on that door. Think I can pick that lock, or...? Shifts over. You got shit in your ears? I said you're done for today. But I ain't done pounding the beefsteak. Don't make me say it again. Shifts over. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right, fine by me. I really don't want to do this again. Let's go. So these guys are leaving. Their shift is over. 
And there's still two guys right behind this wall here. This is really tricky. I wish I can get into that door right there. It's locked. Okay, they're all gone. I want to close it. <laughs> Is there anybody walking? No. Okay. Okay, there's a wall. Good. There's another wall. Hey, be right there. Yeah. Uh. I think we're okay. We could just walk right to that door, right? They're not gonna turn and see us at all. Should just take it slow, just in case. Usually might trigger something. Conversation or movement or something like that. Okay, I think we're fine. Let's go. Yes, we missed. I think I don't know about the dope. I know where you got the money. Falcone thinks he's got a good racket going, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Come on, how'd you get it into the state? I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. Don't fuck with me, you egghead bastard. You wanna end up just like your buddy here? Come on, take a good look. You think you're tougher than him? After we're done with you, we're gonna grind you up in one of these machines here. <laughs> It's it's just a question of whether I'm gonna be nice enough to fucking kill you first. <laughs> hey, what's that fucking stench? Oh. Hey, you hey somebody's Drop over there. Hey, who the fuck are you supposed to be? Jesus Christ, what what is Captain Shipbag here to save the day? Shut the fuck up, Luca. Hey, I know you. You're the chump who was hanging around with that moron, Barbaro. I thought you were still ratting in the can. What the fuck you think you're doing here? Falcone sent me. He isn't too fond of skinny little cocksuckers trying to turn his guys into mincemeat. So, you joined up with Falcone, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now anyway. <laughs> oh! Ha 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 ha! 